Hey guys, Cam here from Pocketlint.com and over the last couple of weeks more and more of us have had to rely on video conferencing apps to stay in touch with friends, family and colleagues. And while they can be boring, they don't have to be that way. So I'm going to help you add a little bit of fun into your video conferencing by showing you how to use virtual backgrounds, a selection of a few of our favourite ones, plus also turning yourself into a potato or a pickle or a llama or pretty much anything you want to be using filters. So first up, backgrounds. Now your first step is downloading an image that you want to use as your background. So find one that you like or find one that you think will work behind you. It can be anything. It could even be a video if you want it to be. Now open up the Zoom desktop app for your Mac or PC. Now if you open up settings and you'll see a virtual background option right there. Open this and now choose from one of the options already there or click the plus icon to add from your own collection that you've just downloaded. So you could have yourself as Jim from the office with that classic conference room background or pal up with the Tiger King if you want to or even be in your own Minecraft world. The options are virtually endless and we do have some of our own favourites so if you want to see more of those there is a link in the description below where you can check out all of the ones that we have found that we like. But if you don't just want to have a virtual background and you want to have a virtual version of yourself in the conference call, you can do that too by adding clever little filters. Now the first step is downloading an app called Snap Camera. It doesn't take too long and it works on Windows and Mac. Once you've done that, you simply find a filter that works for you. There's no shortage of options available, so I really wasn't joking when I said you could be a pickle or a llama. Now in order for this to show up in your Zoom call you need to open up Zoom or close it and reopen it if you've got it open already. Go back into the settings menu we were in before and choose the video option. And now when you click on the camera drop down menu make sure you choose snap camera if it isn't already activated. So from now on as long as this is selected it'll use your currently selected filter from snap camera or the last one you had active. Just make sure you change it back to your regular camera option if you're in a job interview because nobody wants to have the embarrassment of suffering an interview as Bane or something even more embarrassing. So there you have it, just a couple of quick tips for you to try in Zoom to make it a little bit more fun. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter, you can follow me there. Leave me your suggestions and thoughts in the comments and hit that thumbs up. Also subscribe if you want to see more of our videos. I'll see you again soon.